Mixing journalism and history, one Madison County teacher's passion stretches beyond the classroom to keep history alive. It's a story you'll see only on Way 31. I always tell my students I want them to fall in love with history. And I don't think reading, I don't use textbooks, but I don't think reading out of a textbook kind of will make you fall in love with history. It's the stories behind it. So Erin Coggins takes a different approach. In both her journalism and history classes, famed World War II correspondent Ernie Pyle is at the heart of her lessons. He didn't report on st strategy. He didn't report on things like that. He reported on the GIs. And so he, he, he just had so much emotion in his writing, but he also had some hum humor. And you could just feel that he really cared uh, from a different perspective than just writing the news. It flew over Guadalcanal. Coggins shares the same passion, using real stories from those who make up our greatest generation. I go out and get the stories of men and women uh, in, those, in that era and uh, tell it through that, tell it through those primary sources. And so I've, I've always connected them to World War II veterans, which of course is getting more difficult with the passing of each one. Uh, but I try to throw that in as much as possible. In addition to her classes and time spent volunteering with the local Honoring Veteran Legacies group, she devotes her time to research. It's important to continue telling their stories and that's a good way to just fall in love with it. Uh, the Amtraks will have to run a shuttle service between the beach. In fact, the the for the ship. last four summers, so she's been a presenter at the annual America. Friends of the National World War II Memorial Teachers Workshop. It's a way to teach all these subjects and how people do it. Uh, sometimes it's a community project and they really encourage that uh, for the teachers that attend this to go back and do these community projects for veterans. But I was so happy to get to write a lesson plan about John. Just last month, she shared with the world John Kuhn's story, a local veteran who found peace in Hawaii before he passed. You know, the thing with World War II, though, is every day you can learn something new about it which is what drives Coggins to her next challenge after attending last year's National Rosie the Riveter Conference. My grandmother was actually an ordnance worker on the arsenal. She built mustard gas bombs there. Which makes her a rosebud. She's now looking for other female descendants of women who served in war efforts during World War II, or even Rosies themselves, to restart Alabama's Rosie the Riveter chapter and ultimately help create Alabama's first Rosie the River Memorial. The arsenal had such history of women uh, there uh, that need to be honored, and we do not have that in our state. Uh, and of course, the shipbuilding in Mobile, that's really where the Rosies, the, real, the Rosies when you think of the riveting. Um, so I would definitely fight for it in Huntsville over Mobile, but I think we need one. We're one of the only states that, that do not have that. Because after all, it is a story that needs to be told. And it is important to note Erin Coggins is also an award-winning journalist and you can see her stories from time to time in Huntsville Magazine.